In today's video, I'll show you to make different types of home shapes. So from the toolbar, I'll select this rectangular tool and I'll draw a rectangle here. And now click on selection tool. And from this corner, rotate it by pressing shift key and keep the angles 90 degree. Now from the toolbar, under this eraser tool, you'll find this scissor tool. Select this scissor tool and click on this anchor point and click here and now separate it and delete this portion. Now select this one and from here increase the stroke. Let's make duplicate of this and place them here. So I'll make three duplicates by pressing Alt key, just I'm dragging it and making duplicate. From here, take this rectangular tool and draw a small rectangle here. Now select them and align horizontally. Now take this pen tool and from here draw a shape. By pressing shift key you can draw the straight line like this. Select this shape. From the toolbar click on reflect tool and now press and hold alt key and drag the center to the axis to the y-axis and click on vertical copy now select them take shape builder tool and make a shape here and from this side as well now select it again go to object and ungroup it and delete those extra area and here you can see the shape is not perfect here so what we'll do we'll take this delete anchor point tool and we'll delete this anchor anchor point and you can see now it looks fine take this one little bit upward by using arrow key on your keyboard select this rectangle from the toolbar click on rotate tool you can double click on rotate tool and here you can give angle so I'll rotate this this one to 90 degree and you can see the preview it will rotate up to this and I'll make it copy I could make a new rectangle and I can place it easily but thing is that we need to get the exact width of this and this so that it can match up so for that I use uh, rotate tool now make duplicate of this one by pressing alt key and place it here now select them take this shape builder tool by pressing alt key delete this portion and this one and even this side and now select this one and delete it Select this one by pressing Alt key, make duplicate and place it here. Now select this one and this one. Go to Object, Blend, Blend Option. And in Blend Option, uh, select this specified steps. And here we'll give and click OK go to object blend and make it after blending you need to select it go to object and expand it OK now select this one and this one by pressing shift key take shape builder tool by pressing alt key delete it now select them 
and go to Pathfinder and unite it. Now select them all and here align horizontal center. Now let's take rectangular tool and here I'll draw a rectangle from here to here. Now select them again and align horizontally center. Now select this direct selection tool by pressing shift key. Select this answer point and this one and now drag it down. Now take rectangular tool once again and here draw a small rectangle like this. You can change the color of the rectangle and you can align it horizontally so that it will come at the middle. Now select this one and double click on rotate tool and give 90 degree copy. Now select them, go to pathfinder option, this time click on minus front. So this is the one shape we are done. Now place it here. Take rectangular tool. By pressing shift and alt key, draw a square here. Now select this square and from this corner you will find the rotate option and rotate it by pressing shift key. Now select this one, go to edit, copy, edit, paste in place and drag it down by using shift and alt key and place it here and from here I'll decrease the stroke let's keep 5 and enter now select them go to object expand ok now take pen tool by pressing shift key Draw a straight line from here to here and similarly draw a vertical straight line by pressing shift key on your keyboard. Here I'll make a duplicate by pressing alt key and place it here. Now select this and this by pressing shift key on your keyboard and from here select this shape builder tool by pressing alt key delete it. And now delete this line. Now select them. Take shape builder tool by pressing alt key. Delete this portion. Now take pen tool and join from here to here. Now select them. Take shape builder tool. Choose the color from here or here and just make a shape here now let's take this window here by pressing alt key make it duplicate and make it a little bit bigger in size now let's take this rectangular tool and here draw a rectangle make little bit bigger in size this much is fine and click on direct selection tool select this point and this point by pressing shift key and drag it down so we can change the color of this new shape let's take it little bit upward and make little bit bigger in shape select this go to object path offset path and here you can give the offset and preview it so increase the offset now it looks fine click OK and change the color of the offset select them take shape builder tool by using alt key delete it now delete this area now select this one and delete it 
and delete this one too and take this rectangular tool once again and here draw a rectangle change the color now by using direct selection tool select this point and by using arrow key make an angle here like this now select this tool and unite it from here let's take this rectangular tool and here I'll draw a rectangle now take this add anchor point tool and at the center I'll add one anchor point now take this direct selection tool and select this new anchor point by using arrow key on your keyboard and pressing shift key just take it upward like this and make an angle now take this direct selection tool select this point and this point by pressing shift key by using arrow key move it like this I think this much is fine now take this pan tool and from here to here and here to here draw a line like this now drag it by pressing shift and alt key and remove this fill color keep outlines only now select this one and now let's increase the stroke for this now select it and expand it after expanding take this rectangular shape and draw a rectangle from here to here increase the length now select this new rectangle and this shape by pressing shift key and from the pathfinder tool click on minus front now take this rectangular tool once again and draw a rectangle from here to here and you can change the color now bring it at the center so here let us draw one more rectangle in between by making a slight width make sure this one is also at the center now select them take shape builder tool by pressing alt key delete those extended area now delete this one and this one and delete this one now even this one 